Well, we had a windy and a rainy day across the Miami Valley. Still going to keep the chance for a few showers in the forecast through about midnight. Temperatures are going to quickly fall into the 40s once that cold front moves through, and the winds are going to continue to be pretty high here. Tomorrow, temperatures really aren't going to move too much. We'll see uh, readings into the low and middle 30s throughout the entire day. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. Can't even rule out a few flurries popping up, especially in the northern half of the Miami Valley. A little bit of sunshine will be possible just before it sets, and sky Guys will eventually clear late tomorrow night. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the areas you see here in pink. That runs until 8 o'clock tonight. We have a batch of showers and thunderstorms that we've been dealing with all day today, and that has produced some very heavy rainfall in the northern half of the Miami Valley. We have flood uh, advisories, watches, and even a few flash flood warnings in effect here for Dark County, also in Wayne County, Indiana, until about 7 o'clock tonight. We'll show you the reason why we've seen some very heavy rain fall anywhere between one and three inches of rain here north of I-70 here working into parts of Shelby County also into Champaign County heading into Dark County and Mercer County as well. So here's how things look currently. We have the line of showers and thunderstorms moving off to the east of us. Uh, areas north and west of the Dayton area uh, looks like the rain just about over for you but as we take a look a little bit farther north and west we have another batch of some very light rain working into northern sections of Indiana and some colder air beginning to filter in. So as this batch of precipitation begins to rotate through, we may see some of those rain showers changing over to a few snow showers just before it ends. The other factor that we've been talking about today or seeing today and feeling are the winds. Winds have been gusting at times to about 30 and 40 miles per hour. We'll continue to see those very strong breezes through the night tonight, and eventually the winds are going to switch directions thanks to a cold front. And you can pretty much figure out where the front is. We're at 60 degrees right now in Dayton, ahead of that front. Behind the front, temperatures are into the 40s. This colder air is going to be moving in here later tonight. So here's our future track forecast model. We'll show you. We'll see that rain pushing through, the heaviest rain moving off to the east in the next couple of hours around 8 o'clock. But 10 o'clock, that light band of precipitation off to the west of us will begin to move through. Could see some rain changing over to a few wet snowflakes. Mostly cloudy skies as we start your day off on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. And even a few lake effect snow showers will be possible for the northern half of the Miami Valley through the day tomorrow. It's going to be breezy with winds out of the north and northwest. Eventually, the skies begin to clear late Sunday night, heading into early Monday morning. That's going to allow our temperatures to fall into the 20s. We will see mostly sunny skies on Monday and temperatures a a little bit warmer than what they were on Sunday. Tonight, your forecast down to 35 degrees. Rain ch eventually changing over to a few wet snowflakes. It'll be cloudy and windy with those gusts near 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow, highs only around 36 degrees. It's going to be a cool and raw day out there with mostly cloudy skies, breezy, and a few flurries, especially in the northern half of the Miami Valley. 45 degrees on Monday after starting out at 24, 34 on early Tuesday morning. Highs near 48 with mostly sunny skies. And then if you do have any travel plans heading out for the Thanksgiving holiday, it looks pretty good. Highs will be into the low and middle 40s with some sunshine.